Hello guys and welcome to a new Star Division 2 video today by me Vulcan. There have for you a first look at the Moskaya Grupa Bachtina, which is a new division available in the Black Sunday DLC for Steel Division 2. If you'd like to read the description of the division, feel free to pause it and check it out on the right hand side. It's basically a division made up of Black Sea Fleet Naval Brigades, which is pretty cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump on in. So, as usual, what I'm going to do is we're going to take a look through every single tab, the recon, infantry, tank, and so on. And then I'm going to put together a division and we'll have a little bit of a talk about it. All right, let's jump into the recon tab. So, first things first, we have a Ford GPA MG. Uh, this is a amphibious recon vehicle, has very high optics, only good stealth, unfortunately. Be nice if these had uh, very good stealth, like the motorcycles, because they don't have any armor, and yeah, they're gonna die pretty quick. Pretty cool unit though, 750 meter range, doesn't really allow it to engage infantry without being shot back itself, and therefore it's gonna die a lot. But yeah, it's cool. It looks cool. I guess that's uh, about all, all it's got going for it, and it's pretty cheap. Then we got the uh, WLADP. This has the uh, the very good stealth, uh, a standard motorcycle. Probably not going to see it used much. Then we got the Dosor. See if they come in with any decent transports. The A64B, but that's about it. Nothing special there. Then we got the uh, Sniperi. These can also come in with the BA64B if you want. The BA64B can be quite nice because it's got a machine gun and it has a little bit of armor, which is just enough uh, to be a pain in the ass for German troops. Uh, German troops, they don't have 80 rifles very often, so they have to use Panzerfaust to take it out, and you can manage the distance on the engagement with that machine gun. So those can be pretty useful uh, just for sort of chipping away at squads. Do you have the BA-10Ms in here? Only available in Phase B, though, which is quite interesting. And then we've got the Osnaz Superi. So we've got a mix of Osnaz and also Moskaya units in the recon tab here. Uh, the Osnaz Superi never really been that good because of their lack of availability and also the lack of men in the squad. The PPS 43, I don't think it's that good. So, yeah. Not that great of an infantry squad. You're probably never going to be able to see it throw two HE shells. Yeah, the Moskaya Razvidka. These guys come in with two, I'll well, make that four machine guns, sorry, and eight SVTs. So good mid-range squad with decent close range capability when the enemy gets closer as well. They are a nice recon squad actually. Decent firepower for sure. Get the Osnaz Sniperi. These guys come in with two star veterancy. Uh, they can use amphibious transports. I think uh, the amphibious transports in general are in abundance so you can use the ducks a lot and you can use the four GPAs a lot which is gonna make uh, very interesting plays on certain maps. There are divisions that already have amphibious units, but only in limited supply. So, for example, there's like the Canadians that have the uh, M4DDs, but they don't really have any infantry that can follow it up in their own amphibious vehicles. Whereas in this division, you have a lot of these amphibious vehicles. So you could probably make a strong concerted infantry amphibious push at the start of a game and really catch someone off guard. It'd be quite interesting to uh, see actually. And in uh, 1v1s, uh, when you have a river map, this could be a really strong division. Anyway, um, Osnaz VMF. We've got uh, four submachine guns, an SVT and an MG42. It's a pretty nice setup actually. The MG42 firing at the same time as the SVT could make this a very strong squad for like ranged engagements. 30 points though for six men. Yeah, it's, I'm not sure it's worth it. They have exceptional stealth though. It's pretty damn good. You get standard or Fitka and you can also get SU-57s but they're only available in phase B. So the recon tab is going to be an interesting one. Let's have a look at the infantry tab. Um, there's a lot of cards available here. First of all, Superli PBSH. Uh, these can only come in phase B, but probably pretty useless. 
generally the only use for these is sort of trying to gank the enemy early on in their transports. After Komroti, you get these only available in phase C. Okay, interesting. Then we get the uh, Cherny uh, Bushlati, which are pretty big squads, 13 man squads. Three submachine guns, nine SVTs, DP and PTRD for 20 points. Now that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Not gonna lie, that's pretty damn good. Does the duck go faster than the Ziz 3? Or is this 5? Yeah, it does. Wow, okay. Um, these are very strong squads. Alright, Moskaya Komnoti. Uh, these are three-man squads. Uh, they do have smokes, so that's nice. Get three of them in phase A. Uh, Moskaya Pahota. These guys have four submachine guns, nine muzzins, and smoke. I guess a higher veteran C, these could be quite decent. Get a lot of damage down, especially at the close range engagement. I don't know, actually. Mm. I've never been a terrible fan of these. Can get normal Osnas. Lack availability, as always, so. Never been a favorite. So somewhat, I sometimes wonder if these Osnas should be like in the anti-tank tab because having them in the infantry tab never really makes them worth taking. Then again, this infantry tab you have a lot of one-slot cards, so maybe you can fit them in. There is the Osnas Komroti, very limited availability. So again, Throki, only available in Phase C. Berkey Gomrotti there and Avtos, all available in phase C. Pretty standard stuff we've seen before though. Then we got the Moskaya Pahata with the DPs. Uh, so these have two machine guns, 13 man squads with a PTRD. Got uh, some Moskaya Saperi. Just lost where I was on. There's so many infantry units on this tab that I kind of lost where I was. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Moskaya Saperi. Uh, these have six submachine guns, six mozins, and three HE shells. Then we get Moshka Moshtaya, Moshkaya, sorry, Sturm. Four submachine guns and two flamethrowers. I do like the double flamethrower squads. I think they can be really, really strong. So this is going to be an interesting one to watch out for. Then there's Sapari available in phase B. Rocky DP available in phase C and Stroki SVTs separately again. So I think this has been a change that's made to most divisions now. Muscat we'll Avtos, probably one of the strongest close range infantry squads in the game at the moment. And Muscat Asapodi Gamotti. These are nice because you get a lot of them in a squad. And then Strafs, Strafs available in phase B. Okay, interesting. Right, let's jump over to the tank tab. Not much to see here, just a bunch of T-34s. You probably, almost definitely, bring this card in every time. Support. NV NKVDs available from Phase B. You get four GPAs from Phase A. Demil direct fire mortars, Maxims, uh, infantry guns. A lot of cards of Maxims. Then you got Cards of Supply, which are available from Phase B onwards. And then you got your Commandant. That's actually a six-man commander squad. It's pretty nice, actually. And then you've got the WLA Combat Motorcycle and the Bash 64. It's, I find it cool how it's actually modeled inside. That's really awesome. Right, then we have the anti-tank PTRS squads, uh, Visivod PTR, oh this, three PTRDs, I think this is the most AT rifles in one squad in the game. <laughs> Four submachine guns, they have close range AT and smoke as well, a really interesting squad, wow. Okay. Um, 80 guns available in phase C. 
Bam. You can get some Zis 2s in Phase A, so that's kind of a saving grace. But yeah, Zis 3s and 45 mils only available in Phase C. Anti-air is very, very limited. Probably just going to come down to 37 mils. And then you've got Artillery. Let's have a look at Artillery. So we've got Visivod UPR, available from Phase A, actually. So that's kind of nice. Um, yeah, F-22s, not very effective. 82 mil mortars, standard good old motorcycles there. But then we have off map, so we got the 132 mil off map rockets. That's gonna be cool. This is from a riverboat, a rocket riverboat off map. That's awesome. I can't wait to try that out. That's gonna be really fun. Um, then we've got the 120 more mortars, and then there's the BA-64BKAO. This comes with 180 mil railway gun off map. So that's going to do a lot of damage, and it does have quite a lot of shells as well. So I mean, quite high concentration, high damage. It's going to be nice. Available from BNC. All right, air tab. Now, the things in the air tab are things, a lot of things we've seen before, but a couple of new things. We've got the MiG-3 as a recon aircraft. Comes with two 20 mils in the nose. Not terribly good. 580 km per hour speed, though, is pretty fast. It's, um, it's okay. Pretty standard for a recon aircraft, honestly. However, we do have some Spitfire Mark 5Bs. And this is what I'm talking about. We get two 20 mils and four 30 cows at 595 kilometers per hour speed with excellent agility. Now that is nice. Don't get many of them though. Availability is pretty limited. But as far as air recon goes, it's pretty damn good. Uh, standard lag threes, seen these before. Plenty of times. We got the A20C Bostons. This one comes with 50 kilogram bomb payload. Got the Zuchoks with those uh, 20 mils in the front and underneath. Get some Bostons with 250 kilogram bombs. Very limited amount though. Can bring one in phase A, four in phase B, and six in phase C. Uh, there's the IL-2M3, which has two 250 kilogram bombs. You can actually get three of these in phase A. So that's quite nice. But um, I guess they're pretty slow, so you can react to them quite quickly. Um, IL-2 with four rockets. These are light rockets, so not very strong at all. Bag 3 with napalm bombs. That'd be good for unsitting... Um, Unseating support guns, but that's about it. Uh, P3. This comes with the eight 82 mil tank buster rockets. Yeah, three of these in phase A. Wow. Okay. Does this one come with bigger rockets? Yeah, okay. So one of them's coming with eight 82 mils, and then we got the P3 bus here, which has four 132 mil rockets. Don't know if these would be much better though, honestly. You'd probably be better off using the smaller ones. The IL-2M3, even better. And this cluster AP uh, spreads very nicely and can get a lot of kills. So that's about it. That's like the air tab. It's just IL-2s, some P3s, Boston's, You've got Spitfires in there. Pretty cool. All right, let's have a look, shall we? Going to be very infantry focused for sure, with probably a bunch of off map to back it up. Start in the recon tab. Don't need four GPAs, WLAs, dosors aren't necessary. Snipers in phase C. Uh, it's tempting. Also, BA10Ms in phase B is tempting. I think I'm going to bring in the BA10. M's in phase B because you're going to need some sort of armoured support. Same with the SU-57s. I think 
this is where you're finding your supplement armored support. I would like to try these out, the Osnaz VMF. I think they'll be pretty useful. I'm going to bring some in phase A. And then I'm going to bring in Moskaya Razvodka in phase B. And I think that's more or less it. The Osnaz Saperi aren't worth it. Um, Osnaz Snaperi, low availability. Yeah, I'll try out the Osnaz VMF. And we'll have Moscara to go and be, but that's about it. Alright, infantry tab. Definitely don't want Sapari Poof SH. Avtos in C is not really worth it. Alright, these guys, we definitely want these in phase A and phase B. I'm gonna bring them in phase A in the duck. I don't know about phase B. I'll probably do phase B in the Zis 5. Because I'm probably gonna bring in most of my phase A units in Amphibious. And then my phase B and C in normal trucks. So we'll bring in both of those very good value squads. Very, very good value. Right, leaders, let's have a look at leaders. So Moskaya Kamroti, Osnaz Kamroti, Strauki Kamroti. It looks like you can only really get Moskaya Sapodi Kamroti. Or Moskaya Kamrati in phase A. I think the Moskaya Kamrati are fine. Uh, then again, do I want to just do two in phase A? I don't think I can. Now we'll do we'll do those in phase A in the or DPA, and then we'll do these in phase B. There we go. This is another division that I feel like has to be flatline because there's not really like much availability of tanks into the late game. So we're going to switch it to a flatline. That means I need to wait stronger into phase A. I must go Avtos. I don't want to waste them in phase A. I think we're probably better off having them in phase B. Gonna be a relatively strong phase B. Then again, we've got to be careful because we need to make sure that we have all that we need in phase A. We don't actually have that much of a choice. When Muskaya DP is in phase A is fine. Uh, let's put some anti-tank in phase A. Can I bring these in with transports? <laughs> It'd be funny if you could tow these behind the amphibious vehicles and then just have it hanging off the pack as you're going across. Oh, this is something that's quite simple that we can do. We don't get any... Ooh, okay, so we only get gas maxims in phase A. get nine of them, though. Hmm. I mean, are you forced to do this then? Maybe. I'll leave it like that for now. See if we need to take away one of these cards. Okay, back to the infantry tab. We still need more infantry in phase A. Uh, just going to jump over to the support tab because I could probably put in some maxims in phase A. Definitely need this anyway. We can use that. I don't need it in an amphibious vehicle. I'm just going to go ahead and put in the 180 mm in phase C. And we're going to put in the rocket artillery in phase A. And I'm also going to do probably just mortars in phase A. Yeah, okay, that will have to do. So I'm not going to need much in the terms of supply. What I'm just thinking about right now. That's why I wanted to do the artillery tab. 
And the reason I'm doing these first, putting the support and the commander in first, is so I can work out if I have any cards spare for things like Maxims and infantry guns. I think you can probably quite easily hit, fit in the infantry guns in this case, and some Maxims. It means I probably only need like one more infantry in phase A. I guess I could just put more Moskaya there in phase A. Oh, the phase A infantry is going to be really, really rough to deal with. I guess Thraf's in phase B. I don't think that's worth bringing in. Uh, these in phase C is fine. So that's good. Maybe some phase C Straki DP as well. Oh, Sapari. Moskaya Sapari, are they better? Probably for the closer range engagements, yes. So let's do Moskaya Sapari. I oh, don't mind, you can only get them in phase B. I'll do that in phase C then. Anything else I'd rather want to bring? No. Or the Osnas again, just too low availability. It might be quite nice though. Ooh, that's a good thought. Maybe we just bring in some in phase A to back us up with the uh, bazooka for amphibious crossings. A lot of infantry though. I guess you don't really have anything else to spend it on though, like in terms of points. You've got infantry in phase A, there's no tanks to spend stuff on in phase A. You've got a little bit of support there. Your AT tab's literally just going to be this twos. Um, I do really want to try these out, but I don't know if it's worth bringing them in phase C. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's my anti-tank tab. Fantastic. Artillery tab, air tab. Let's go to air tab. So, I kind of tempted to use these Spitfires. I think they're going to be pretty good in phase C. Uh, we definitely want IL-2M3s. I'll have probably phase B IL-2M3s with cluster bombs. We actually have two cars of these. Good. Gonna be our most reliable tank killing aircraft. Uh, definitely gonna have to do these IL-2 bombers. We'll do them in phase A. Yeah, let's have a look, what else can we do? We should have two cards of these Spitfires. Uh, I'm not sure if the limited ammunition on the Hispanos is going to be bad enough in, for it not to get kills. So on something like a bomber, the 60 rounds on the Hispanos, it might not be good enough. kind of want to try out these lag napalm bombs, but I, I kind of know they're going to be awful. Do phase C Bostons. Definitely need some like early fighters. We'll have to bring in like the lags. Let's do one vet lags. Phase A. I think that's okay. Don't think I need anything else. Definitely don't need those. Don't like Zuchok. Those are terrible rockets, that's terrible napalm, that's terrible AT planes. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, maybe these guys are worth it, but I'm not sure. I will go for the P3s in phase A, just in case. I think these three points. I'm thinking not artillery, not anti-air, not anti-tank, not support, unless we want more supply. 
How much do we get with these mortars? Get 25 rounds in phase A, don't you? And we'll just go for phase A supply. Tend to run out though if I'm using just mortars. And we could do extra supply, but I'd have to drop something elsewhere. I think the recon vehicles are really important. I think maybe like a card of phase C infantry is the best way to go. Drop in a card of Sapori in phase C. Okay. I'm not quite sure about this division. Honestly, my first impressions of this division are that it's going to struggle a lot against any strong medium armor division. Something like a 20th Panzer is just going to roll this over. And again, I guess if you mix in the like the Osnaz like I have in Phase A, then you could catch out those kinds of divisions quite nicely. You do have the aircraft to back you up. You've got to hope that there's not much AA. Um, it might be worth sort of setting up an air tab actually that can overwhelm an enemy air net to basically give yourself an abundance of aircraft that can pin enemy AA. So things with rockets mainly. Uh, so these IL-2 and 3s we could pin down enemy uh, AA with it. Or we could just get loads of Bostons. So what I do is I have 12 Bostons in phase C. And we do the bombs here first. The 16 50 kilogram bombs. Onto the AA. And then you have follow it up with the 250 kilogram bombs onto whatever else you want to target. But that would be a hell of a save in order to do that. I think there's a lot of improvement to be made here. Maybe maybe anti tank needs to be a bit more generous. But getting a Zis 3 in like, like phase C just doesn't seem worth it. I'm gonna just have to carry Zis 2s everywhere. So this is Muskaya, Bupa, Bach, Dina. Okay. The infantry is going to be pretty wild in 1v1s, especially with access to all those amphibious vehicles. Certain maps are really, really going to open up. It's going, this is going to be a very interesting division to watch out for in some tournaments, I think. But in terms of large team games, it might suffer. It might suffer. We'll see. We will see. I'll give it a good go in the near future. But that's it. I'm going to leave it there. That's the third battle group we've made now of the new divisions in the Black Sunday DLC. I'm going to be continuing on to the fourth, which is a, another Romanian division in the next video. So hopefully you're looking forward to that. But in the meantime, let me know what you think about this division in the comments and any of the previous ones, of course. Uh, but that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Okay,